I'm trying to tell these boys how to move out here, man. How to move out here with these women, man. Y'all dating these hood rats, man. You got to know how to move with these hood rats. If your girl buy everything in her apartment, you dating a hood rat, let's say. If she buy everything in her apartment out of Walmart, first of all, you need to know if she got these utensils and these cups and plates in her cabinet. Plates a dollar sixty-eight, cups fifty cent, bowls fifty cent, plastic silverware a dollar, like a dollar sixty-eight. If this girl got these utensils in her, if this was in her cabinet, first of all, you need to understand you're gonna hit. You're gonna hit that night, and uh, she probably gonna make you wear none. But you need to wear something because women like that get pregnant real easy, especially if they're under age 35. They get pregnant real easy. You need to wear at least four, you need to use four methods of birth control. You need to have a condom, a birth control pill, a IUD, and a day after pill, and you need to pull out. So. That's what you need to do when you're dealing with one of these hood rats that got all her utensils from Walmart. And she got 300 thread count sheets or she got them jersey knit sheets. If she got jersey knit sheets on her bed, chances are the bed is a full size. I'm going to tell you that right now. She didn't even spring the extra $30 for the queen. It's a full size bed. And if you're smashing a grown woman on a full size bed and that's her bed in her main bedroom in her house. See, because a full size bed really... That's for like one of your kids. Like if now if your kids is now if her kids on now if you smashing her on her kids' bed and it's a full size, that's acceptable. And it's acceptable to have two, three hundred thread count like two or three hundred thread count sheets on the bed because it's a kid's bed. But the question then is why is she letting you smash on her kids' bed? That is so that is such a level of savagery. I just can't like and I don't know whether it's worse if you know her kid or if you don't know her kid. Like, let's say if her kid is, you know, 10 and it's a boy or a girl, it don't matter. I mean, it's going to be one or the other. How disrespectful is it to go to these to, to, to this woman's house and smash her on her kid's bed? How disrespectful is that? That is like, how do you even get yourself up in that situation, sir? That is a level of debauchery that even I can't comprehend. And, and, and I've been involved in some pretty uh, trifling situations in my lifetime. I'm not even gonna lie. But smashing a single mom in her kid's bed is maybe, the only thing maybe, and I was gonna say maybe this is worse, but maybe it's not worse. If you smash a single mom with her baby in the bed with you, and it's not your kid, that's a little disrespectful too. Only if the baby is, now the baby is not walking yet, if the baby's not walking yet, you're good to go because that's truly an infant. So if the baby's an infant, they have no concept of their mama getting waxed next to them. They don't know, they just know the bed is moving. They don't know what's going on. But now, here's the ultimate in trifling. If you're smashing a single mom with her baby on the bed and the bed that you're smashing on is that of her third third or fourth grade older child who is also not your child and who has a different father than the infant you know what that's actually okay because she she yes yeah, yeah she's already made horrible choices in life so yeah that's cool we can get away with that